Good morning, Hickory Grove. It is a beautiful day. It is a chilly day. Uh, I know in Locust last night, it got down in the 30s. So it is a, it's a hoodie type of morning. Uh, so I'm rocking my Hickory Grove hoodie this morning as I prepare for the day and just uh, been on the front porch praying for you students, praying for you parents, praying for our staff, the things that are going on. Uh, lots of needs, lots of requests right now. Um, this is a difficult time for many, especially as we're wrapping down uh, the year and uh, it's not a normal kind of wind down. So um, please, uh, today, if you have something you'd like for us as a staff to pray for, students, even parents, uh, don't hesitate to shoot us an email. We would love to continue to pray and lift you guys up. Uh, I do have just a few announcements and they're very similar to the announcements I've had for the past four or five days. And so uh, you may think, Mr. Hamilton's lost his mind. He just continues to say the same thing. Well, um, if you've ever worked with students, uh, sometimes you have to say things more than once and uh, not to insult your intelligence, but you guys are just doing a thousand different things all the time. And so just wanna make sure uh, we're on the same page. So first, remember we have our last town hall meeting tonight for juniors. Uh, rising juniors. So uh, parents, if you'd like to register for that and you have a rising junior, we have some spots available for that meeting. So um, please sign up. Uh, Mrs. Bennett uh, has sent out information for that. I believe you can find those in the scheduling newsletter as well. Um, also students, remember May 11th is the last day to register for classes. That would be on Monday. So Monday, we would really like to have most of your classes scheduled, all of your classes, your electives and your core classes. Remember core classes are done on RimWeb and your elective classes are done through Google Forms. So please take the time to do that and maybe talk with your parents, keep them in the loop. Remember they, they play a pivotal role in this and then also make sure if you have specific questions, you reach out to Mrs. Bennett, Dr. Simulton, myself, and we will try to help you the best that we can and guide you in your course selection. Um, also, uh, students, remember all your work has to be done to take the exam. I know a lot of you are missing one or two things and uh, your teachers are working to get those grades in and updated, um, but please, if you're missing assignments, get those in. That's part of the exemption. That's also part of the qualifications to take the exam if you have to take the exam. Um, we want to make sure students, you follow through with your work. Um, that's something, it's a pet peeve of Mr. Hamilton about working hard and persevering. And uh, if the teacher thought it was important to assign, it's important for you to get it done and to get that turned in to him or her. So please make sure you get any missing work turned in as soon as possible. We have seven more days. That's including today, seven more days of instruction. And then um, again, on the 19th, 18th, 19th, and 20th, we will begin our exams. So again, students, we've said this a lot, A's and B's, you can exempt. If you're below that, for your overall semester average, quarter three and quarter four, then you're gonna need to take the exam. So please click below. Um, you'll see complete exam information. There's a document that outlines all of that. And so I um, want you guys to know exactly what you have to get done before um, the end of the quarter or the end of the semester. So I hope you guys have a great day. I apologize for the street noise behind me. Um, like we got a truck coming in right now so i'm gonna sign off and see you guys later